Welcome to another episode of Hand Tool Rescue, where I am attempting to recreate another long lost patented tool. Now, today we have a spoke wrench designed by Mr. Cabana himself in 1900. Now, these spoke wrenches are for specifically bicycle spokes, which at the time of this patent were very popular. And spokes on the wheels of bikes are notoriously difficult to tighten without marring them or damaging them. This design, I'm not entirely sure, would actually benefit that issue in any way since it is a Pac-Man style design, which is not ideal. I, I don't think I'm not a bicycle specialist, but um, spokes have parallel sides, at least the nipples, which this nipple wrench is for, uh, have parallel sides and they're usually squares. So something like this would go in there uh, and then you could magically turn it somehow. Now, that aside, let's find out what the issue is and if it works. This is a design patent, so there are few details. It's more just an idea and less actually how you produce it. So, uh, I will be dealing with that. We have a little bit of steel here and I have other pieces of steel and I've already tried to mill a kind of V into it, but uh, the angle doesn't really work and I broke the bit so it's gonna be a little bit difficult I'm probably gonna use a combination of machining methods to get this done But it should be interesting and it is very tiny. We're talking two inches at max according to the little bit of detail we have here because it does need to fit in between the spokes to grab the nips and twist the nips
I'm 600 years old now. Okay, so I've chucked this up slightly using some rubber as to not damage the other side here. We'll see how successful that actually is. Who knows? Um, it's not perfectly centered, but it doesn't need to be because I'm just sanding this smooth here. And then I will make the polish. Did the rubber protect? Oh, excellently. I tried to polish this side, but I'm gonna probably have to give it another go. Okay, after heat treating, I'm spending 97 years polishing this. We're almost there. But I do not need to temper this steel because it is 1144, which hardens exactly at around 52 Rockwell, which is the perfect wrenchiness hardness. And uh, that should suffice. Not to mention, it's also a stress relieved steel, so it hasn't moved very much at all. I do kind of concern myself with the ability of this to crack right here if I clamp the jaws too hard. I'm not sure if that's an issue or not, but I'm taking it easy. That's why this moves around the rubber. Okay, here it is. Look at that. Nice and shiny, nice and hard, just how I like my nipple wrenches. Now, we shall finally test to see if this actually works any better than your modern nipple wrench. So let's twist some nips. <laughs> the chosen nipple presents itself.
lining it up already not that good Ooh. yeah it like kind of works I don't know it does work on modern nipples at least uh, but poorly it does round them over easily the v-shape is not conducive to the parallel sides of the nipple but we must remember that at the time this was patented spoke nipples were not like this and were six-sided not that that makes a massive difference but they were much larger also uh, i don't have any of those because i don't have a bike from 1899 but uh, I do have something similar that might be worth trying. Okay, I have thread locked and super glued this little tiny nut onto here. This is as close as I can find to with the size and shape of the spoke nipples on something like a penny farthing or any other bike from the early 20th century late 19th century. So, does it work? Oh, oh, oh. Now we're talking. Yes, yeah, so this does a decent job uh, when something is six-sided, I guess, or larger is really what it does a better job at, and that's what this was designed for, so that makes sense. But I think it needs, it needs something like teeth it's very similar to an alligator wrench, but just in a different axis. Uh, I don't really know why it doesn't have teeth, but teeth would make more sense here. Anyways, this does work as it should, but not on modern ones very well. Anyways, pretty cool.